Hi, this is Richard Clark back with Chapter 4 of My Best Friend is a Secret Agent. Chapter 4, The Big Stink. Now came the hard part, getting my dad to put Chip on his commando team. The first thing I had to do was give Chip a new name when the Chip micro thingy was working. Then I realized, how about Chip? C-H-I-P. I mean, it was Chip's name anyway, and written in all capitals and periods, it looked kind of secret agenty. I was hoping Dad would think a programmable secret agent named Chip was a cool thing for your kid to invent, but I mainly wanted to get Chip working before the next crazy bad guy attacked. Okay, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here and just say that it didn't exactly work. When my dad starts hearing people talk about science and computers and stuff, he kind of zones out. Some in my line of work go for all those computing machines and fancy doodads. But in my book, nothing beats boots on the ground, he said while doing 50 one-handed push-ups. I tried to get him to listen. But I invented something nobody else in the world has invented. It's the next step in national security. It's the next step in evolution. But he just told me to go do my homework. I told him I'd finished my homework for the whole school year already, and it was only October. Then you have time to train for football tryouts. It builds discipline. I could see I wasn't getting anywhere with Dad. The next day I just hung out with Chip all day, trying out different skills with the chip he still had on his tooth. I got him to break down the ingredients of the Sloppy Joes in the cafeteria with just one taste. Who knew they had so much sodium nitrate? I taught him how to dance the Watusi with just the push of a button. Good thing most kids thought he had ants in his pants. I even got him to trim the bushes by the school entrance into topiary animals. His pygmy hippo was the best. But even though the chip inside chip was working great, I was still feeling blah. After all, I didn't design it so chip could do party tricks. I designed it to make him the best, coolest new weapon against crazy bad guys since the sticky net launcher. Yep, I invented that too. But just as chip and I were heading home from school, we got this really stinky whiff of something. I figured it was just the school kitchen dumping leftover sloppy joe mix, but the smell got worse the farther we got from school, as it wasn't just us smelling it. Everybody on the street was starting to cough and plug their noses. Chip and I couldn't figure out exactly what the smell was, but when Chip said, Who cut the cheese? I finally figured it out. It was cheese! Really stinky cheese! And now the whole city reeked of it. I wondered what happened. Maybe an explosion at the cheese factory? Maybe a 14-truck pileup of cheese trucks on the highway? Chip and I bolted for my dad's office. But when we got there, Dad and his commando team were suiting up for duty. It was worse than I thought. A crazed cheesemaker named the Big Cheese was stinking up Vortville with cheese. But not just regular cheese. Limburger cheese. A cheese so stinky that its stink should be classified as a hazardous gas. The Big Cheese wanted revenge on people everywhere who hated the smell of Limburger, which he considered the finest cheese around. He had huge gas canisters of concentrated Limburger fumes, and he was driving all over town in his cheesemobile, gassing everybody. Limburger, your name will be besmirched no more! <laughs> who cut the cheese indeed? My dad had to work fast to find the Big Cheese and shut him down before he gassed the whole town. But as Dad and his team headed out, I knew that if he found the big cheese and destroyed the cheese mobile, it would probably blow up the gas canisters and all the gas would be released at once. No, this job needed somebody to handle the job with some stealth. Someone who could shut down the gas canisters, not destroy them. This job needed chip. Well, that's chapter four. See you next time for chapter five.